Hello and welcome to a quick look. Me, Game of Six of Rebel Inc. Basically, the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. Let's play a game. I'm playing on easy mode because, you know, it makes it go quicker. Saffron Fields. I do play this game, but I do play it with quite a few cheats because, you know, things and stuff. Ah, get the warlord to do it. He would make everything go well and, you know, not heck things up. Uh, sure. Yeah, casual. So it's basically like, hey, stabilize the country, either by getting rid of all the bad guys or by having elections, I guess, or 100% stability. Or I guess it's like, do it by either stabilizing everything, having elections, or what was it? Having a peace agreement between the country and the insurgents? I'll put it here, because that's where a whole bunch of people are. So, let's spend money on things and stuff. Let's see. It's been a little bit of time since I played this. We'll increase infrastructure, do that, and that. Let's see. Yeah, get rid of corruption gradually over time. The thing I find weird is, like, when you spend money, both inflation and corruption increases. But inflation doesn't make people unhappy, it just makes things cost more. Corruption makes things unhappy, but doesn't make things cost more, which is kind of weird because you'd think corruption would make things cost more and be less efficient. And as that stuff goes on, we'll just uh, do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. How about each time that thing goes up, we spend a bit. Hyena? No, oh, the. Uh, that just seems just to be a bit too loud. Put down just a tad. Okay, we made a little bit of money. Let's spend it on water. So yeah, basically the people go around and do stuff. And you got like, um, economy, infrastructure, healthcare resources, uh, was it? Social aid. Then you got like, how much you guys are looking at things. I guess we could do that. Um, local militia, which I don't seem to do so well and stuff to fight corruption. And then you got the military, which we'll have when we encounter insurgencies. We got a little bit of something, some so um what is this? Ooh, more effective over time, you say? Where's that? Oh right, roll out of initiatives. And so our guys can go from point A to point B a bit quicker. And I guess we should also... Well... 13. We'll wait for that. That's the thing that is about this game, which is... Usually when I use cheats, it's to have a ton of money. Which makes inflation go high, but it also makes corruption go high. Which really knocks us on our tush. But yeah, when you learn, it's like, what do people want? Well, they want more jobs, so get them that. Also, this is an urban place with highways. Or at least the Afghanistan's... ...thing of a highway. But like, want jobs, jobs, education, nothing particular. I mean, they want a bit of everything, but it's like, their main thing is jobs or whatnot. Those jobs.
Even if I'm not accidentally shooting myself in the foot by doing this every month, that it like resets their cup for corruption level. Well, I'll wait for a while to deploy the coalition soldiers. So for that thing, you can have coalition in your place, but they kind of make the people unhappy, because you know, foreign boots on the ground, and then. But, you know, they're pretty quick to bring in the, but the main problem is that eventually they'll want to go home. So as you can see here, oops. So how much for that? Oh, that. Ten. Okay. Which that nine? I think if you have three of the three of these uh, home groups at a time, then they kind of slow each other down. The main thing isn't to destroy the bad guys right now, it's just to make sure that they don't have foothold, because that makes the people quite unhappy. Well, we'll wait till we have the cash. Because, like, you see this thing builds up slowly over time, and then you have to choose. See the corruption thing. And also, you don't, you never like destroy these guys, you just move them. The only way to actually destroy them is to surround them, unfortunately. How's the uh, corruption thingy? 13? Looks like they're going that way. Oh. I guess we should have waited for them to move. Maybe some of that while we're at it. Yeah, but what are you going to do? Hey, look at that. People are starting to really like our people here. Though they wish they had telecommunications. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I love it. Okay. And that's what we'll do. That wait, was that Ligma? Group Ligma? It looked like they actually destroyed them. Huh. And that's 13. So yeah, and local... If these guys are here fighting and these guys aren't fighting, they help them.
Yeah, it's a real pain in the arse to be like, okay, how do we, like, neutralize these guys? Because, like, this zone has, like, one, two, three, four, five neighbors. So you need quite a few guys to get rid of them. Yeah, we'll do that. It also helps build stuff, but unfortunately doesn't, you know, prevent guys from being in an area. If we end this quickly, we might redo it, but with uh, unlimited amount of money mod and like the hardest difficulty. I always do like playing games like that. Hmm. I guess we got rid of those guys in that area. Yeah, we'll try and talk, I guess. We are making them lick my balls. Oh, and it's a nice little thing where it's like, hey, the more you spend, the bigger this place gets. So they went telecommunications, and we should probably get that too, so we could build uh, roads so our guys can move around these more rural areas a bit easier. So yeah, in this peace talks, it's like, hey, do the insurgents govern? Do do insurgents set up a party or insurgents banned? And basically, this makes these insurgents angrier, but gains your reputation, but this loses reputation, but makes the uh, insurgents be more likely to agree on a peace deal. So, let's see. Let's get some of that edumacation and some electricity. Oh, they're over there? Huh. Hell yeah. Camps. See, so yeah, when you have these guys there, they also, like, look, gain more intel in the area, and help build stuff sometimes. So, yeah, insurgents banned. Guys, we're actually doing good, pretty well because we're doing this on easy mode. Oh, yeah, there you go. The. It's like, hey, these guys are going to be yeeting soon, so... Do you want to keep them there? E. Yeah. Nah, I think we'll just continue civilian stuff. Uh, land rights, I guess. And I think that thing, we lost reputation because, um, too much corruption. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. There's never a good reason to, like, do it now. Insurgent, like, all insurgent leaders, banned. Yeah, we'll wait, since we'll probably have the money. <laughs> we got the reputation to be like, hey, these guys can stay longer. See, they're building stuff. And what is this thing here? Oh, right. Uh, where was it, like, there are guys shooting?
Okay, we should probably give money to stuff. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, sure. Usually I feel like there's not a really good reason to do that, but still. We're still stabilizing the country, man. Come on, man. Wait, those guys are there? Huh. Okay, you stay there. Or you go there. There we go. Less corruption. Hand over all weapons. Yeah, sure, I guess. Dang diddly corruption, but hey, corruption's a lot lower now. Might, uh, see what somebody wants. They want more gerbs, okay. What's up with these? Then crops. See these little hammers? They're working. Another one more education. Okay, we'll look into that. Edumacation. What else do people want? More telecommunications. They're not indefinitely, but they we can have them stay however long they want, I guess. Okay, education, so they want telecommunications too. There you go, telecommunicator. Oh yeah, you can speed things up. I guess I probably should have done that. Because it is easier mode. Oh, permanent peace. Oh yeah, I guess since we didn't completely wipe out everybody, we could just be a, like the insurgent. We lost some reputation, but uh, yeah. I don't know, I feel like we're doing pretty well, as you can see right here. Okay. You also unlock guys by uh, doing stuff. Yeah, mountain ranges. Basically Afghanistani. Hmm. 
Okay. Now, mega brutal. And it'll still be hopeful, Dawn. Yeah, I guess here. So, now to what was? Do we use Wii mod? Is caps lock on? Yeah, caps locks on. Uh, what is this game called? Rebel Inc. And the audio for that's off or low, right? Well, I uh, might want to plug your ears for a sec. It isn't too loud. No, okay. No, wait, that's not a good sound. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, uh, nothing's happening. So basically, the first thing you need to do is to get this stuff to keep the stuff low over time. And what was that? One time decrease. Yeah. Less corruption when funded. Get a bit of this. And a bit of that. And of course, a bit of all these things right here. And oh, man, that inflation. I don't know how it got that high. Do all that stuff. And then probably should work on these. There we go. So did say, um... Okay, corruption's very low, which means we should probably spend more on it. How's the overview? Very low? Okay. Spend more. Are you sure it's very low? 65% corruption isn't low. Okay, 1%. We got this. Core healthcare. Actually, 1% still. Still says it isn't really hurting us, which is weird. Though maybe it's one of those delayed things. Charity? Bugger. You said it was very low. Motherfuckers. What was the point of being like, oh, it's very low, it's only 1%, and then all of a sudden be like, ooh. Yeah, buddy. Well, at least it's now only slightly. Go in to get all this infrastructure so that these, like, places where things are kind of shite stop being shite. Gonna hold off on that. 
Hey, they don't increase corruption. Oh, that does. Surveillance drones, because apparently funding in Air Force isn't corruption. Right, F-35 program? Okay. Hey, cost overrun? That's fine. Bugger. Universal Justice, yay! Yeah, it's weird how corruption works. Hooray, sheep. Yeah. I wonder if they're able to creep into friendly territory. Oh yeah, we should probably spend money on troops. Yeah, unfortunately it do be like that sometimes. Such a strength. Probably should have actually read that. Oh, we ain't doing too well. Yeah, try and talk because we need that reputation boost.
Yeah, that's one reason why you want to delay that stuff. What? Nice if they stayed indefinitely. I like reputation. And how about you guys help with stuff? Wait, does it actually say how much we have? Okay, 8%. 18%. What? Surgeons apologize. What? Well, we seem to be doing okay right now, so we're just gonna chill for a bit. Okay, we'll get gerbs. Oh, jeez, look at the inflation. It's like... There you go, you got gerbs. What? Oh, I thought we had somebody there. Okay, here's the plan. You, there. You, there. You, there. You, here. That. Hi, Yuna. The police force is actually useful and not corrupt. Granted, most of the country's corrupt, but that's fine. But okay, you guys go into foreign places to like help with stuff. Oh, there's guys there. These insurgents just appear out of nowhere all the time, you know? Mm-hmm. Oversight. Well, I do be like that sometimes. I mean, I think we're pretty good. Agree to peace deal? And build gears.
Yeah, look at that. We narrowly got through there by the skin of our teeth. I wonder if he's gonna make guys like recruit quicker. Hey, hey, you want? So, anyways, that's the end of that quick look. And you know, thing into the, what is it? A uh, Wii mod. So, anyways, the end of this. Let's place a comment, guys. Like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike. Tips or otherwise. If you like my YouTube and likes it grow, and please like, subscribe and share the recipe. Come, please don't forget to and must help control the pit population. And if you're interested in me playing this game, then tell me and I'll put it somewhere higher in the list, I guess. And until next time, let's play me. Game of six of oh Iraq Afghanistan simulator. It turns out well for us, right? 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 See ya.